Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for my using OneNote class notebooks for ePortfolios tutorial. My objective today is to help administrators, counselors, and teachers learn how to use OneNote class notebook to create student portfolios. In particular, we're going to be focusing on students in grades 9 through 12. The administrator that is creating the portfolio or teacher will need an Office 365 account with Class Notebook Creator installed. OneNote 2013 or 2016 desktop version are optional and are not needed but can be used. Let's go ahead and switch screens and log in to Office 365. We'll, buy, we'll begin by uh, typing in our Office 365 user account name and password. Once the administrator, counselor, or teacher is signed in, you most likely land on your welcome page and you'll be looking for the tile labeled Class Notebook. If it doesn't exist or it is not there, you will need your Office 365 administrator to install this free application. Once we click on the tile, it will take us to the Welcome to OneNote Class Notebook Creator screen. Now, it is a notebook, but we're going to be using it for a student ePortfolio. We'll click on the Create a Notebook tile, and then we'll need to label what we want our portfolio to be called. In this case, we're going to use the graduation date of the class that we'll be creating this for. So we're creating this for students that will be graduating in 2020. And then I'm simply going to label it 2020 Student ePortfolios. We'll click Next. And now we'll see all of the things that will be inside our ePortfolio. There will be a collaboration space where the Teacher, counselor, administrator can share content with their students. The students will also be able to share content in that same space with the teachers. A content library where the teacher can publish content or the counselor or administrator. And the students can only view the content, but they can also copy the content and paste it into their own portfolio. Finally, the individual student portfolios. That is a place where the teachers can look at content and edit content. And of course, each student will have their own, own private portfolio where he or she can edit and add content. The student will not, however, be able to view other students' portfolios. We'll click Next. And at this point, we will be adding the teachers that will need to be monitoring these portfolios. So that might be the, uh, the particular teachers that are with these students. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a couple of teachers in a real class um, setting. Might be adding quite a few teachers, but we're just going to add a couple. So we have a principal here and another teacher, and of course um, my account can also be this since I'm creating it. So I will be the counselor. We'll click Next, and now we will start adding our students. Because this is going by Office 365 accounts, I usually can just type in uh, a little bit of the person's name. Might need just a little bit more than that. Okay, we'll add Aaliyah. And we'll add Mr. Bailey. Probably misspelled that name. And we'll just go ahead and add Katie. So in this uh, scenario, we're only adding three students. But you, as you can see, if the school district is quite large, you might be adding you know, anywhere from a couple of hundred students to a couple of thousand students. This part can be done by your Office 365 administrator. It can be automated. So it is something that larger districts would probably want to look into, but a small district could just simply input the names manually. It's only really gonna to have to be done once, maybe updated a couple of times a year. We'll click next. 
And now we're going to decide what's going to be inside each student's portfolio. Now, since these sections are actually designed for notebooks, class notebooks, we're going to deselect them. And instead, we're going to create four sections that are specific to our portfolios. So we're going to call one section college planning. We'll call one section careers. That could be like for career planning. We're going to call one section test and scholarships. Let's call that tests and scholarships. And then we'll call one section class schedule so that the students can keep up with the different courses that they need to take in high school and credits. Now we could add additional sections if we wanted or we could add fewer sections. We'll stick with these four. And now you can see that we can confirm here visually that this is what the teacher is going to see and if we click over here this is what each one of the students will see. We'll go ahead and click create and then we can take a look at those sections and a little more closely. This part can take just a few minutes depending on the size of the notebook. Once the notebook is created, we can open the notebook either in the OneNote desktop application if we have it or in Office 365 by opening it in OneNote Online. We're going to go ahead and open it in OneNote Online. And now you can see the portfolio has been created. There is a portfolio created for Aaliyah, for John, and Katie. Now we're looking at this from the counselor or teacher's view. So uh, if Aaliyah were to be logged in, this is what Aaliyah would see. She would see the welcome, the collaboration, the content library, but she would also see a section for her class schedules, her careers, her college planning, and her tests and scholarships. So you can see OneNote Class Notebook Creator is a really great tool for helping students by creating student portfolios that can be monitored by administrators, teachers, uh, content can be added to, by the students, the notebook can be kept and used throughout their high school years, and if they want to uh, save the notebook, offline the notebook onto a USB key, they can even take it with them and take all of that information with them on into college. I want to thank you for joining me today and watching my tutorial. Please follow me on Twitter and let me know what you think.